One of the many questions I get asked by beginners is, how do I include my projects on my resume? Today, I'm going to show you how to effectively showcase your project on your resume to make sure your skill stands out and get you noticed by hiring managers. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tina Okonkwo, a data analyst, and in this channel, I talk to you about everything data analytics related to help beginners transition seamlessly into this field. And today, we're going to be talking about a question I get asked all the time, which is, how do you showcase your project on your resume? Now, whether you're an entry-level data analyst or a professional, highlighting your project the right way makes the difference in landing your next job. Let's explore the step-by-step -step process in actually doing this. First, let's talk about why it's important to include projects on your resume. Your projects are a tangible proof of your skills. They show employers not just what you know, but how you apply them to real-world scenarios. Now, whether you've worked on personal projects, coursework, or even actual clients, these experiences demonstrate your ability to actually solve problems, work with data, and deliver results. Now, where should you put projects on your resume? There are actually a few options, on, depending on how central they are to your experience. The first one is the experience session. If you worked on projects as part of a job or an internship, you should list them under the relevant role in your experience session. You also want to highlight your contributions to that project and the outcomes as well. The other one is your project session. If you have multiple significant projects, you should create a dedicated project session. This is especially very useful if you're just starting um, out in your career or you're trying to make a career transition. Lastly, the education session. For academic projects, you can list them under your education session, especially if they are relevant to the role you're applying for. The key is to have a session where your projects can be highlighted and easily noticed by recruiters. Now, let's talk about how to describe your projects effectively. You want to use clear, concise language that highlights your skills, the tools you use, and the impact of your work. Here's a simple structure to follow. Start with a project title. Next, list the skills, the tools, and the languages that you use in that project, e.g. Python, SQL, Power BI, and so on. Another thing is state the objective. Briefly describe the problem that you were trying to solve or that you were addressing. What was your role in addressing that problem? Highlight your specific contributions. What exactly did you do? Lastly, you want to state the outcome of that project. Quantify the results if possible. Let me show you an example. Here's a supplier quality report project that I built and here's how I would include it in my resume. My title, Supplier Quality and Performance Analysis. The tools I used, Power BI, PowerPoint, the objective, analyze supplier performance by evaluating defect quantities and their impact on production downtime. My role, design and develop an interactive dashboard that visualizes trends in defect rates and downtime, enabling the clients to identify key areas for improvement. The outcome, the insights led to a 15% reduction in defects and a 10% improvement in production efficiency. As you can see, this format clearly communicates the skills used, the problem solved, and the impact achieved. Another thing you should keep at the back of your mind is that it is important to tailor the projects you highlight based on the job you are applying for. For example, if the role emphasizing on data visualization, you might want to feature projects that showcases your experience with tools like Power BI or Tableau. Don't forget, your resume isn't only the place to showcase your work. You can also include links to your portfolio, GitHub or LinkedIn profile, where hiring manager can explore your projects in details. In my next video, I'll discuss some of the best platforms you should use to host your portfolio. Remember, your projects are the best ways to showcase your skills and stand out from other candidates. So take the time to present them clearly and effectively. If you found this video helpful, Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.